Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making acai smoothie bowls with reishi mushroom powder. So let's talk about what that is and some of our ingredients here. So first we'll start with the Chi Traditions reishi mushroom powder. Reishi helps to enhance the immune system, reduce stress, and improve overall sleep. So again, what does that mean? So in our bodies, if we have a lot of inflammation, we can get sick, things can go wrong, diseases and such. So and we want to eat things that are anti-inflammatory to keep things calm in our bodies. Reishi is an anti-inflammatory. We also have a lot of beautiful fruits and vegetables here that are gonna go into our smoothie bowl. We have peanut butter, which is plant-based protein, a lot of healthy fat. We have acai, which are special berries that are known for their antioxidants, which is also anti-inflammatory. We have half of a banana, which is a lot of great fiber and vitamins and minerals. Potassium is a big one. We have here wild blueberries, which were frozen that we're gonna throw in there. Some almond milk, which is unsweetened. And here is our reishi mushroom powder. So you also might ask, what's the difference between a smoothie, just a glass of smoothie that you're gonna drink, and a smoothie bowl? We're gonna go through this and we're gonna leave it a little bit thicker, more like a slushy or a custard, and we're gonna pour it into our bowl so that we can eat it with a spoon, and we have some really beautiful toppings that we're gonna put on afterwards. So let's start and put everything in. And this is a one person serving, which is great for your breakfast, a snack, even a nice light lunch. In goes the almond milk, in goes the blueberries. So I've used wild blueberries here, which have a ton of great nutrition, antioxidants and such. You can also use regular blueberries, other frozen fruit that you like. For the acai, it comes in frozen packets. So in that goes. In goes our mushroom powder, our reishi mushroom powder. I'm just gonna kind of do this to get that in there. And in goes our peanut butter. You can use any kind of nut butter you like if you enjoy almond butter, cashew butter, or even a sun butter, or just a handful of nuts. That works also. Then in goes our banana. I have been using a frozen banana, so I like to get bananas and then when they start to ripen, I will um, peel them and cut them in half and put them in a freezer bag into the freezer. Grab one anytime, it's perfect for a smoothie bowl. So let's go ahead and close this up and turn it on. Okay, so now we're gonna take our smoothie bowl and we're gonna pour it right in here. It should be pretty thick and kind of like more of a, a slushy. And then we're gonna make some beautiful art on the top. So today I've chosen strawberries, which are in season right now and they're gorgeous color, lots of antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, also great for immune support. I have some chia seeds, which is a ton of fiber and plant-based protein. And then I've got some sliced almonds, which are delicious, but also a lot of great vitamins like vitamin E, which is good for your skin and your hair and your nails, and then plant-based protein as well and healthy fats. So I'm gonna kind of make a design on the top of my smoothie bowl here with the fruit first. Now here's the other thing. You can use whatever fruits and vegetables you like. If you wanted to put a handful of baby spinach in here, amazing. If you wanna use raspberries across the top instead of strawberries, also fantastic. Some of them might sink down in there so it becomes a little chunky as you eat it with your spoon, kind of like a smoothie bowl is also kind of like smoothie soup have all our nuts across the side here. Those look beautiful. You can also use kefir if you want to add in something like that. That has a lot of good probiotics. 
So there you have it. This is my acai smoothie bowl with reishi. So once again, I'm Abby. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.